Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a simple, short ombre set of nails. So I've gone ahead and I've sanitized my hands and I've sanitized my client's hands and I have got them neutral gloves. And I'll talk about more of that, about that in a minute. And I'm going ahead and I'm just pushing back the cuticles with this super, super pretty cuticle pusher that I've got from Chintzy's Glitters. I'll leave the link to her store down below. I'm then going to go ahead with my Skittles bit and just go on a low speed and just really remove all that dead skin that likes to hide in them nail folds and up them side walls. You want to make sure you are gentle but thorough, especially when using any sort of drill bit on the natural nail plate. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this on all five of the fingers. So whilst I am carrying out that, I'm just going to say that yes, I've got the natural gloves and I love them. They don't make my hands itch. Um, I did get a size too big, I should have probably got the medium, I actually got large. Um, but I did end up taking them off as well because I'm still just getting used to the whole wearing them thing. But it is something that I do want to really take seriously and look after my own health. So okay, as I was applying the forms, the gloves um, got stuck to them, so I just ended up taking them off and then I couldn't be bothered to put them back on. So after I removed all the dead skin, I just went and etched the nail plate, dehydrated twice, go in with one coat of my acid-based primer, I then apply my nail forms and then I will apply my second coat of acid primer just before I'm about to apply the acrylic. So I'm just going in and I'm creating my short white free edge and I'm just going to blend it down slightly onto the nail plate so that when I go and apply the next colour there is no harsh lines. I like to do the white on all of the five fingers first and then go ahead and do that the pinks afterwards. So I always leave the thumb out just because, and the other hand, because I find that it can get touched and prep, and I always like to prep as I go, so I always prep the thumb like extra just before I'm about to move on to that nail, I'll go ahead and dehydrate. I left this bit in here because we're not all perfect, and um, there was a hair in my acrylic, and as I was trying to get it out, it just wouldn't budge, and then it ended up just like, so I ended up turning off the camera, just scraping it off and starting again. But that's okay, you know. We have some problems, but it's always fixable. So I'm just going in now with the pink and I'm just going to apply that at the cuticle area, blend it down and try and make a nice um, ombre effect. When doing this, I'm gonna encapsulate in a transparent pink that just makes your blend look nice. You're not having any really harsh lines there and it just makes the nail bed look super natural and super healthy as well.
once we were happy, I filed, shaped and buffed all the nails, removed the dust and now I'm going in with my CJP Tech Free Top Coat and I'm just going to top coat the nails. I will then get my client to place her hand in the lamp for 60 seconds and cure and then I will cure the other hand um, before I apply my cuticle oil because sometimes if you don't allow that top coat to cool down and you apply your cuticle oil, you can make it dull and that is not cool. So this particular client had really, really dry cuticles, so I used quite a lot of cuticle and I also retailed her my very own cuticle balm and as her aftercare advice, advised her to use it daily to help her enhancements last longer as well. Um, that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed this very short, sweet and simple design. Um, I love you all and please hit that subscribe button if you're not already, I've just hit 39,000 and I just can't believe it. I honestly love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.